Tonight, growing questions after revelations that for more than 20 years, U.S. Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas has accepted lavish vacations from a major Republican donor without disclosing it to the court. When we talk about hospitality or personal gifts, uh, those are keywords or, or buzzwords that are allowed through the loophole of reporting that the Supreme Court justices have chosen to follow. In a rare statement defending himself, Thomas says he was advised early on in his tenure by colleagues and others in the judiciary that this, quote, sort of personal hospitality from close personal friends who did not have business before the court was not reportable. The fallout follows a stunning report by nonprofit news outlet ProPublica, uncovering that for the past two decades, Thomas has enjoyed, among other things, island hopping on a super yacht in Indonesia, trips on a private jet, all male retreats at an exclusive California club, and fishing at a resort in the Adirondacks, all thanks to a Dallas billionaire friend who happens to be an influential Republican donor. There are no restrictions on justices accepting travel gifts, but they have to be disclosed. However, the report says Thomas never listed the travel gifts from GOP donor Harlan Crow and his wife. Thomas says he endeavored to comply with the disclosure guidelines and that he intends to follow new guidance in the future. On Twitter, progressive Democrats like Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez calling for the conservative justice to be impeached. And legal analysts point out that the U.S. Supreme Court has no formal code of ethics, a governing body, or a way to enforce any potential wrongdoing. But Democratic Whip Dick Durbin is vowing that the Senate Judiciary Committee, which he chairs, will act. In Washington, Faith Abube, ABC News.